Okay, today we're going to look at how can we sketch a cylindrical coffee mug and this is the mug we're going to practice sketching. We'll do this in an isometric view. So we start off with, like always, our 30 degree lines. Check, we're on 30 degrees. Focus and let's draw this like it's sitting like this. Okay. First thing we do is mark out our width. We know we've got a square. I'm just going to turn my page because I'm right handed. Okay, so we're going to mark both sides, remember to make sure that's a true square, we could draw a horizontal line to meet them up. Okay, and the height, we're looking at proportions now, so width to height. Turn my page so that I can draw a vertical line accurately. Mark off about the height, parallel 30 degree lines. And if I'm accurate, these two should match up as well. So that's our crate ready to go. The next step we're going to do, like always, is draw our ellipse. We've been practicing these in earlier exercises. So remember the background to drawing our ellipse is the same as how we draw a two dimensional circle. For a circle, we can use these as scaffolding to help us accurately draw a circle. So we use the same layout in an isometric view. These dots here become flattened as markers, and these ones become a little bit more pointed. Be careful you're not too pointed, however. I'll just use them as a guide. Okay, so this one is the same. We should have two squares the same size, isometric squares. Let me make a tangent up between both of the ellipses. Let me make this one a little bit bigger. And we have our cylinder for our mug pretty much roughed out. Next thing we're going to draw is the handle. The shape of this handle sort of comes up and down. I'm going to make it into a D more on the base just for ease. Let's make the handle in line here. So we'll say it's at the back of it and we'll pretend that we can't see some of it from that view. So kind of sitting like that. 30 degree lines and give it a width. So this is me just drawing the width of the handle at the back. We'll make a crate, 30 degree lines. This is the crate for that handle to sit in. And mark out Okay, so the only part of the handle we're going to see is that bit there. We can round the tops if we want. There we go. Round. And we'll do a double ellipse because we've got a wall here. So there's two ways you can do that. You could draw another square and mark your markers or try to follow in a parallel line as best you can. 